Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Magic the Gathering Arena, let's pull five more packs. I just can't stop myself. <laughs> There's one card that I really want, and if I don't get it from these packs, I'm just going to use a wild card to get it. Uh, chances are low, because it is a uh, mythic rare. See if you can guess uh, what it is. Uh, but let's open some more packs. Let's uh, reminisce some more about Dungeons and Dragons. And thank you for all of the, uh, the help and answering my questions in the previous video. Learned about like new mechanics and uh, stuff like that. Alright, but let's look at the new cards here. Price of Loyalty. Ah, yes, I like these cards. Uh, you can take control of an opponent's uh, creature, and then with like a sacrifice deck you can sacrifice them, get rid of them. And they get plus two if they use treasure. Good, I wanted that one. I wanted this one too. Let's see, black card 2-2, two, two. give buffs to various uh, units. Beginning of your end step, if your creature died this turn, you may pay one. Okay, this could also work with a uh, sacrifice deck, make uh, tokens, and then it'll get plus one, plus one. That's pretty good. Wild shape. Interesting, interesting. I like the spider with reach. That could be pretty useful. Okay, rare card. Ooh! I was thinking of making a dragon deck as well. Uh, the other day I pulled that uh, red and white dragon, and uh, I was looking at all of my other dragon cards, and I also got the, uh, what do you call it, minion of the mighty, or some, what is it, a kobold card that can uh, enable dragon decks, so this will also be great. Uh, artifact, add to mana in any combination, spend it only to cast dragon spells. That's pretty good. Also, I was thinking about like how many elements uh, to make the dragon deck. Um, I'll start with red and white. I could go more. I could go five if I wanted to be uh, really crazy, but I think that's far in the future. Uh, then we can sacrifice the orb. Top seven cards, reveal a dragon, put it in the hand. Okay, all right. Happy to have that. Very happy to have that. Okay, next pack. Okay, the uncommons are new. Feywild Trickster. I see a lot of people using this against me. When you roll dice, you can create tokens. That's cool. <laughs> you see a pair of goblins, all right. This could also maybe be good for a uh, sacrifice deck. Create some uh, tokens. Okay, rare card. Ooh, Hand of Vecna. Rare equipment. Artifact, legendary. Quick creature, you control, name Vecna. Interesting. I mean, flavor-wise, it's amazing. Uh, is there a card of Vecna? I don't know. That's very cool. Pay life to equip. <laughs> All right. Next pack. Alrighty. Contact other plane. Draw cards. Scry. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, here's a uh, multicolor. Room abilities of dungeons you own trigger an additional time. Interesting. I haven't really played with the dungeons yet. Uh, so I don't know how powerful they are, but this can be a good card to use with them. And rare card? Okay, I guess in spirit that is the card that I wanted to pull. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Okay, next pack. It's more fun to pull a card though, isn't it? <laughs> this is fun. I like the idea I guess you could use it as removal on an enemy uh, monster. They'll get the uh, the mana and then the uh, the treasure uh, benefit, but that could count as getting rid of a monster. That's cool. Ooh, zombie ogre. Beginning of your end step. If your creature died this turn. This might be good for a uh, dungeon sacrifice deck. <laughs> it's kind of powerful too. Boils of the Hunt. Uh, 
Okay, all right. It's kind of a fight card, but it's more just deal damage rather than actually fighting. Okay. And these are all ones that I have before. Rare card. Monk class, okay. Lowers uh, casting cost. And target non-land permanent to owner's hand. Okay, cool. And then level three. That's another spell this turn. Mm, okay, all right. All right, last pack. Okay, oop, oh, got a lot of new cards here and another mythic rare wild card. I'll take it. Uh, torch, good, good. Always want more equipment uh, for this set. Goblin Javelinier. Alright, I like that. Scaled Herbalist. And on the battlefield, that's pretty good. Iron Golem. Right, right, interesting. Grim Wanderer. This is interesting. Flavor-wise, it's very cool. Oh, and it's a goblin. Interesting. Very cheap, but pretty powerful. Has an interesting mechanic. I would enjoy using this card, I think. Okay. <laughs> Alright, rare card. Circle of Dreams Druid. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nice artwork, too. Okay, so I did not pull the card that I wanted, so let's go here. Not collected, mythic rare, adventures in the Forgotten Realms. And what I want is this one. <laughs> this might not be surprising if you know me. Uh, I like cards where you can play the other uh, opponent's deck. Uh, so like Gonti or the uh, the most recent Tybalt, and uh, this is another one of those. And I also said I wanted like legendary creatures, uh, so I could use as like a base for a um, like a brawl deck or something. I don't play a lot of blue, but I am going to start now with this card. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty hilarious. On my turns, the opponent cannot cast spells, so no instants. Uh, no uh, flash monsters. Uh, I can look at the top card of their library at any time, and I can play that with any kind of mana. That is hilarious to me. Uh, probably keeping this guy alive is going to be one of the more uh, challenging things, but yes, let's craft that. <laughs> and this is only the second um, Mythic Rare wild card I've ever used. Uh, the first one was for uh, Valky Tybalt, so... This is kind of a big occasion. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to go to work uh, making a deck for this guy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.